They were able to get a good start yesterday and get the win. And Marquise Grissom, for him, it's basically throw that fastball. It's 90 to 94, hit the corners. Base percentage of 480 on base percentage is really incredible. A bobble at second, and Kafis reaches. Chandler Simpson had trouble with the hot shot, and Kafis is on to start the ball game. That is ball four. With Kafis on the move, Parada couldn't squeeze it anyway. And it's a five-pitch walk, and the first two have reached for Miami. It's one of those big things where when you get the guys on, the only problem is having trouble getting them in. Well, Grissom goes to the off-speed there, elevated. Again, that's the best secondary on the eighth pitch. It's a strikeout for Grissom. Goes off-speed and punches out Romero. you got to throw me the fastball. I'm going to be ready for it. There it is, and it's a strikeout for Marquise Grissom Jr. Top five, top four, because of what he can do at the plate. And oh my goodness. Crushes one to left center, and it's number 23 for Kevin Parada. He cannot be stopped. He has homered in four straight games now. Eight home runs his last ten games. Man. Yeah, I mean, we're just talking about how good he is. Gets a fastball out over the middle of the plate. And he does not miss balls when you miss there. Ball and a strike on Zach Levinson. Pops this one up. Behind the mound and it drops in. Jaden Jackson, the shortstop, started out, and it lands in front of him. One out show, rocket. <laughs> this is ripped by Mike Rosario into center. So back-to-back -back base hits with one out here in the second. And again, there's base runners for Miami for a second consecutive inning. 3-2. Fades outside, ball four. He's going to go back to the changeup here. Spiked in and it kicks away. Levinson races in and scores. And they're saying it hit CJ Kafis. I'm thinking change up right here. And it's hit off of Grissom. He pounces on it and throws out Morales. What a recovery by Marquise Grissom Jr. This year is that just the energy on this team is different from last year. As Romero skies this one to left, and gone! Opposite field shot for Max Romero. Just over the wall, and Miami leads. My goodness, Max Romero. That is a strong, strong human being. Being able to take this ball backside. Look at the explosion on the legs. Stays through this baseball, hits it out to left. You have the worst stack guy in the world. This is yanked out a line to right and out of the reach of Reed. Patelli turns the corner and he's got a one out double here in the third. I will say that Dom Patelli has been very sneaky this year with the numbers that he's been putting up. Now Mike Rosario grounds the first pitch to Chandler Simpson, who throws wildly. Patelli comes in to score. Miami by two. And yet again, this Georgia Tech infield defense has been problematic. Ah, oh, these are the ones where when you're Georgia Tech, if you're Simpson, you're going, golly, I got to just make the play. I have to set my feet. Have some, you have enough time. You don't have to get up and get rid of it that quickly. All he had to do was just take an extra step and replace the feet. Low ball four. And you wonder if this might be it for Marquise Grissom as the lineup turns over. The 0-1. Hit well toward left center. Hangs up for Tres Gonzalez to put it away. <laughs> That's low, and Tress 
Works a walk. One out base runner for the Yellow Jackets. Down by two in the third. Borden hits this one past the dive of Patelli into setter. Big turn, but Gonzalez holds it second. And two runners aboard for Georgia Tech with one out in the third. 1-0. Collin hits this one well. On a line to right center and out of the reach of Burke. Gonzalez scores. Borden stops at third. And the venerable Colin Hall delivers and makes it a one-run game. You mean the ancient Colin Hall delivers and gets his 200th career hit. And gets an RBI to boot. Change up out over the plate. Drives it to right center field. Burke thought he had a play on it. Liggins 2-2. Cut on and miss. Oh, great change up from Carson Ligon. Darn. And he went six innings, a career best. Slow roller, tough play, copped and he throws high. Would have been laid anyway to get Yoandi Morales, who's got a one out infield single. Catcher number four. The freshman, McGuire, ready with a one two. Hit well. On a line to right center field. Two home runs in two innings for Max Romero. That thing was touched. Well, kept getting the change up, kept missing it. Got another change up that's left right over the middle of the plate. And Maxwell Romero was listening to you, Mike, and said, fine, you want one that goes farther? Then just the 339, well, I got one for you here. It's a changeup, and it's a dandy. Gets out in a hurry. 3-2 is low to Jaden Jackson, who works a leadoff walk here in the last of the fourth against Carson Ligon. On Georgia Tech leadoff man Chandler Simpson, who hits it up the middle, base knock. His second hit to setter. Just like he and Jackson did in the second. Parada homered in the first. Goes first pitch swinging and squibs it back to Ligon. He gets the force. Wallen's turn in time for two. 1-4-3, twin killing. With Jackson at third, the 1-0. Hits Jenkins. 3-2. Outside ball four. Man. What a plate appearance from Tres Gonzalez. Number 81 from Carson Ligon. Hits Borden. And a run scores to make it a two-run game. Hit batter, walk, hit batter, all with two outs from Carson Ligon. One, two. On the ground, up the middle, base hit in the center. Jenkins scores. Gonzalez to the plate. Throw goes to third. And this game is tied at five. Throw gets away toward first, and Borden scores as well, and the Jackets lead. Compton, though, coming up big again. It's a ground ball right back up the middle, uses the big part of the field. Just right out of the reach of Torres. Bird comes to throw it to second. Oh, that's what it was. Gets cut off by Patelli, who then throws to no one because there was nobody there. Everything after him. And now Hall in the air. Left center field, and Viegas has room to end the inning. Relievers gauge zeal in the eighth inning. Strike three called. Fastball dotted. And Levinson strikes out looking. As Gino is missing. Cutting a miss, 91. Three strikeouts in a row for McGuire. One, two. Cut on and miss. First one, two, three inning for either team in this one. Steven Reed is trying to leave Earth right now. And he pulls this one past the dive of Patelli. Reed is on to start the bottom of the fifth. Digs for second. 
And he's in standing. A fisted double in the left field. Here. Turns on this one and ropes it fair into right field into the corner. To score Reed from second. Simpson not slowing down around second. He can flat out move. Stand up triple. And that's him telling me this is why I don't bunt. Because I want to show you how fast I can move around the bases. A fastball and turns on it down that line. And as soon as he hit it, I went, oh, now we can see how fast he runs. And guess what? He is real fast. Gets to third easily. Oh, yeah, give the hands up. Low Jackets. The 0-1. Jenkins hits it well. Center field. Burke on the move, and he runs it down. What a catch by Jacob Burke. Strokes in the right center, base hit. It's a single for Gonzalez like he did in the first. And he's been on all five times from the four spot. 2-1. Bouncing ball left side. Patelli has it go off his glove. Tough in between hop and there's two on for Georgia Tech in the eighth inning. But no one was home. And so the go-ahead run score. Compton thinks he got hit by that pitch. Brian Miller says, no, you didn't. Uh -oh. And here comes Danny Hall. <laughs> uh -oh. I thought it hit him too. Yeah, right on oh, the foot. Oh, it absolutely does. Yeah, right on the top of the foot. This, is, this should be a quick one. Yep. Gabby, if that were you, would you be selling that really hard? Like like your foot just got lopped off or something to, to really make sure you got that goal? 2-1. <laughs> On the ground towards second. Garcia flips. Patelli turns. It's two. Oh, big double play induced by J.P. Gates. Friday. So that he could throw multiple times in a weekend. And Romero went around. One away. Zach Maxwell, 1-2, cut on and miss! Back-to-back -back K's for Zach Maxwell. And Georgia Tech's one out away. First pitch swinging, pops it up short left. Gonzalez calls off Jackson, and Georgia Tech clinches the series. What a series win for the Yellow Jackets ahead of tomorrow's finale. They have already beaten number seven in the country, Virginia Tech, and now a series win over number three.